And we say good morning to you. We're broadcasting live today for Jim Klein Farmers Insurance after being in West Virginia yesterday, back home in the Tri-Cities. And uh, again, glad to have you with us here. We went from Hardee's in West Virginia yesterday to Jim Klein Farmers Insurance today, Chick-fil-A tomorrow, Champion Chevrolet on Thursday, and Food City on Euclid Avenue in Bristol on Friday. This is show number 606, the 606 show. And we're going to talk to the big old tall drink of water, my buddy. Jim Klein coming up here in a few minutes. Also, the lovely Sandy White's in the house. Sandy J. White's, because she's a jewel. There you go. J for jewel. That's my buddy. She said, don't come in unless you bring chocolate. I said, I got you. So we took, brought her a, went to Max Medicine Mart, got her a Hershey bar. We're going to be talking to William Yarber coming up a little bit later on the show from Max Medicine Mart. Also, that big old tall drink of water, Jim Klein is going to join us, coming up later in the show, obviously. Ryan Witten, the football coach at T.A. Duggar Junior High and Elizabeth, and calling that game tonight. They're playing for the conference championship, trying to go undefeated against the Vance Junior High Vikings. And so we'll have that for you tonight from Citizens Bank Stadium in Elizabeth. And so we're bringing you Cyclone and Viking football. It's going to be a great evening for that. Uh, what? Up in the upper 70s, low 80s here in the Tri-Cities today, so still feels like it's June or July, and I love it. Not a, not a complaint from me. I wish it stayed this way all the way through the winter. 60s and 70 and 80 degree days and, what, 50 degree nights? We can live with that. Doug Fritz from the Johnson City Press. Talk to us a little bit later on about Butch Jones and the Tennessee Volunteers. The Hokies. What went wrong with the Hokies playing the number two ranked team in the country, the Clemson Tigers? And... They move on to play at Boston College on Saturday. We'll talk to Fritz about those two teams and, of course, high school football. Big weekend of high school football again here in the Tri-Cities. And William Yarber from uh, Max Medicine Mart, the now and the guy I, the guy I should say, uh, are 20% off for the month of October, brand new month. So it's uh, Gaia phonetically spelled G-U-Y-U-H, Gaia. 20% off along with the now product line, capital N-O-W, all that coming up. We always start our show by dedicating it to the man who hung on the cross, and here's today's verse out of the book of Isaiah. 12.2 says, I am your salvation. Trust in me. Do not be afraid. I am your strength, and I am your song. There you go. So we have lots to cover. We've got a big day of Major League Baseball, the wild card game today. It'll be the Yankees hosting the Minnesota Twins tonight. We'll talk about that. We'll break down tomorrow's National League wild card game between the Rockies and the Diamondbacks. Got some other baseball news, including the Atlanta Braves general manager let go for a no-no. So uh, it's it just continues to be interesting in the sports world and certainly in the world in general, given what happened yesterday in Las Vegas. So uh, we will continue to keep an eye on that. But and more and more things coming out about. That situation now, which is very, very sad. A couple of uh, folks we lost overnight, Robert Yates, NASCAR uh, from Yates Racing. Robert Yates passed away from cancer at the age of 74. And in the rock and roll world, a uh, very untimely passing of Tom Petty. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, he died of cardiac arrest overnight, 66 years old. Tom Petty, we lose one of the big rockers. And so he's gone. Robert Yates is gone. And uh, that's kind of what's happening there. Countdown to Christmas, if you care, and most don't. 82 days till Christmas <laughs> 2017. I said that yesterday up in Hardy's in West Virginia. The lady said, shut up. I said, okay, got you. So anyway, Jim Klein, Ryan Witten, Doug Fritz, William Yarber, and more coming up on the show. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. Told you when all this broke loose last week, the basketball scandal, Rick Patino has officially been fired by University of Louisville. And I told you, attorneys all over the place are going to be retained. And uh, it just continues to, it's like uh, tentacles on an octopus it has continued to go out further and further and so we've got more problems now coming out of that situation we'll take a look at that major league baseball coming up next we're live here at jim klein farmers insurance again the number one farmers insurance agent sandy's going to tell me it's like 87 states and this guy is a he is honking good here at farmers insurance and so uh, we'll talk to jim come up a little bit later on do you have your car ready for the fall and winter do you have your home ready for fall and winter? And, of course, also uh, we're going to be talking about that home warranty protection program you can get right here at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. So all that coming up. We'll take a break, come right back. We'll talk more about the basketball scandal, and we'll take a look at Major League Baseball next here on show number 606, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. We're live at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. 
Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Chevy Truck Month Take Two at Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City. The savings and selection of over 600 new Chevys to choose from are at an all-time high. 17, 1500 All-Star Crew, 11,000 off. 1715 All-Star Double Cap, 10,000 off. 18 Equinox LT, 5,000 off. 17 Traction Traverse, 5,000 off. Shop us online 24-7 and remember our Saturday parts and service hours. Champion Chevrolet on the Motor Mile in Johnson City, where we leave you asking, how do they do that? At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. I'm with the Tom Taylor Sports Show again, show number 606, live again at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, the number one farmers agent in four states, Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. Now, you go back and look at all the agents in Tennessee alone. This guy's number one in Tennessee, then all the farmers agents in Virginia, Numerio Uno. Sandy's going to write down all the awards on the President's Council and the Super Bowl Council. This guy's on everything because of how well he does at farmer's insurance. But plenty of room for you. 423, you say, well, he's so big and he's so this, and he won't have time for me. No, that's not the case at all. I just wrote him a check for my car insurance. Uh, I love it. This guy takes care of me. And Sandy J. White, J. for she's a jewel, Sandy J. White, she takes care of me. She'll, she just does a great job. She and and uh, Tracy and, and all the kids run up and down the hall here at farmer's insurance. There's a reason why he's number one. His name's on the plate in the building, but it's the staff behind him makes it go. Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. And so uh, the number one farmer's agent, and I'm tickled to death to come in here and sit and talk to the guy. It's number one. One state's impressive enough, but you look at all the – I have no idea. I'm going When he gets in here in a few minutes, uh, we'll see how many farmer's agents ballpark number in four states, and he's number one because of great customer service he gives and just does a great job. And his staff does, too. All right, the scandal continues. Again, college basketball. Louisville's interim president receiving an authorization Monday to fire Rick Pitino officially because of federal bribery investigation, a scandal that has shaken the university and brought down one of the most prominent coaches in college basketball history. 
the school's athletic association, a separate body of officials that oversees Louisville sports program, on a unanimous vote, approved a resolution to fire Patino after meeting for more than two hours on Monday. He's gone. He has an attorney, of course, who will respond. He says the investigation will show that he'll be cleared of everything. Uh, we'll see. Athletic Director Tom Drake was placed on paid administrative leave, and he plans to announce an interim replacement for the athletic director later on today. David Pageant is now the interim, I guess he's now the head coach at Louisville. He was an interim up until yesterday, but since Patino's been fired, uh, unless they block that through the courts, see, this is the whole thing just stinks. Though. It's just it's getting slimier and messier by the moment. We haven't even got to the main story yet that's coming out today. So Patino's gone. He's hired an attorney, of course. Uh, Jurek is gone. The athletic director uh, placed on administrative paid leave, or paid administrative leave, rather. And so now an interim athletic director is going to be announced, which, you know, how, how do you become an interim athletic director to come in and, and mop up what's going on there? But somebody's going to do it, obviously. And then you have, of course, university saying that Rick Patino is gone. So all this continues to spiral out of control. Now, the young man who's in question for all this, Louisville freshman Brian Bowman, the former five-star recruit who was suspended indefinitely this week following a report from the FBI alleging an improper payment was made to his family to get him to sign to play basketball at Louisville, has retained, guess what, an attorney and an effort to gain reinstatement. He wants back on the team. Now, again, nobody has denied the fact that his family accepted up to $100,000 $100, to the family of Brian Bowman in an effort to get him to play at Louisville. Now, nobody's come out and said, oh, yeah, well, that happened. Isn't that kind of the red flag to start this whole thing? Where's the family? Where's the integrity? Where does somebody stand up and say, yep, we took that money under false pretenses, shouldn't have done it? And nobody's saying that. They're saying not only, you know, yeah, we got 100000 and we're going to sue the university to put my kid back on the team. Way out of control. So, uh, Jason Setchin, a Miami-based attorney, is going to be who specializes in NCAA eligibility cases. Now, here's a guy that specializes in getting college athletes out of trouble. Anyway, uh, Bowen, while Bowen wasn't named specifically, the documents by the FBI named an All-American high school basketball player who committed to a school that Adidas sponsors back in June. The only All-American who committed to a school Adidas sponsors in June was guess who? Brian Bowen, although he's not been named. Uh, it gets more interesting. Louisville coach Rick Patino was placed on unpaid leave. Now he's fired. All right. Uh, Patino indicated in the report by the FBI as coach number two in the documents was involved in the funneling of money to Bowen. In the report, coach two or Patino spoke with Bowen about getting more money to secure his commitment to Louisville. How much you need? How much you need to come play for us? So Patino did know about it, according to this FBI report. The basketball player wants to get back on the team, has hired an attorney. His family did uh, apparently take $100,000 uh, in money to, sugar money, if you will, to steer into play at Louisville. It's a, the whole thing's out of control, and the whole thing just, just reeks of so much, so much garbage. Anyway, that's what's going on, so it continues to uh, spiral out of control, and we'll see how it goes and see if there's any more schools going to be named in the situation. So, uh Anyway, that's the very latest on the college basketball scandal. Monday Night Football, we don't talk about the NFL in this show anymore because of what they've done or what they haven't done. So last night, Kansas City beat the Redskins 29-20 on Monday Night Football. Skins are now 3-2. and two. The Chiefs are 4-0. and oh. Chiefs 29-20 winner over the Redskins on Monday Night Football. That's all we're going to say about that. Tom Taylor Sports Show, we're live again. At Farmers Insurance, again, 247-5400 is the number to call. Again, if you are looking to switch your insurance, when was the last time your insurance agent sat down and talked to you, you know, and kind of gave you a recap of what's going on or kind of an update and what you need on your policy because things are always changing. We'll let Jim talk about that coming up here in a little while when he gets in here. But, uh, again, he does that and does it all the time. All he wants is every time we talk about Jim Klein is a chance to quote your insurance. And from there... Uh, you can take it and, and, and use it as you need, but all he wants is a chance to quote your insurance, whether it's homeowners, vehicle, renter's insurance, you got a motorcycle, got a boat, whatever you've got, and we'll let him tell you all the different types of things that he will insure. Also, that home warranty program is very, very good here at Farmers Insurance. So 
Number one agent, Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. Four state number one guys, Jim Klein right here, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. You know, I'm blessed to do shows. I go to Champion, the number one Chevy dealer in the state of Tennessee. This guy is the number one agent in four states. Food City has been voted so many times the number one grocery store chain in the region. So uh, Chick-fil-A tomorrow, I mean, it kind of goes without saying how good Chick-fil-A is. So a lot of good places I get a chance to go to, and we certainly consider this one of them with Sandy J. White and, uh, and Tracy and all the kids here at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. American League Wild Card game today, the Twins against the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Uh, Minnesota has the more experienced starter. The Twins will have the experience edge when it comes to starting pitchers today. We will go back and tell you that it is very much in favor of the Yankees to win this thing. The Twins are 33-89 and 89 against the Yankees since 2002. Over the last 15 years, the Yankees have won 89 games against the Twins to the Twins 33. So they have zero winning seasons against them in 16 years. Okay, that all sounds very doom and gloom for the Twins, but you know what? A year ago, they lost over 100 games. They've turned everything around to the point now in the wild card playoff. And, you know, forget what happened over 16 years. I mean, obviously the numbers in favor of the Yankees. This is a one-game playoff. You win, you move on to play the Indians starting this weekend. If you lose, you go home. So, uh... All the statistics bear out that it's Yankees to win uh, or the Yankees to lose. It's theirs to lose. But, uh, again, the Twins obviously have done a fantastic job. And, you know, you go back and look at the Twins, what they did uh, in the offseason. Didn't really add a whole lot. They really just kind of went back in since last year with Paul Molitor, the manager, and just kind of said, we're going to change this thing around. So it didn't, it's not like they went out and got a bunch of free agents to better their baseball team. They just kind of said, we're going to play better baseball, and they made, a, I guess, an inside-the-clubhouse commitment to be better, and they did. It went from losing over 100 games last year with virtually the same team to, again, this one-game playoff tonight. Irvin Santana has appeared in eight postseason games throughout his career with five of those coming against the Yankees. Santana, your starter, has made 379 regular season appearances with all but three of those being starts. Coming off the season, he posted his best ERA, made his second All-Star team. The Yankees are going to counter with Luis Severino, who's never appeared in the postseason before and who won't make his 100th appearance in the majors until 2019 at the earliest. So if experience trumps talent, there's no reason to think it does, and the Twins will have the edge on the mound. Otherwise, the Yankees will on the field. But Irvin Santana, Minnesota, Luis Severino for the New York Yankees. And so that's what's going on again, that one-game playoff. That's today. The National League playoff is tomorrow, the Rockies and the Diamondbacks in uh, in Arizona. That winner will get the Dodgers. Tonight's winner will get the Cleveland Indians. On the other side of the American League bracketing will be the Houston Astros and the Boston Red Sox. And then on the National League, again, the Rockies and the Diamondbacks tomorrow night. That winner gets the Dodgers starting this weekend in L.A. The other side of the equation are the Cubs and the Washington Nationals in the uh, in the National League. So uh, some big-time names going to be on that field tonight. Aaron Judge, Gary Sanchez, uh, Brian Buxton, just to name a few. And so, and also a couple of guys, obviously, are up for manager of the year in the American League and the National League. So uh, it's going to be a fun game tonight. It's the Yankees hosting the Twins tonight. And tomorrow night it will be the Rockies and the Diamondbacks with a chance to move on into the Major League Baseball postseason playoffs. So, uh, going to be good and going to be exciting and going to be fun. Hey, don't forget to go to the Pick and Panel where you can win 25 bucks this week all or every week. It's the Pick and Panel right here. Let's bring it down and show you on the old screen. Boom, there it is. We had to get Jerry uh, Jerry McNeil one last week from Elizabeth in week number four. So uh, we got to pick a week five. Too. i got to finalize that tonight, see who won from this past week. So uh, here are the Pick and Panel games. You ready to roll, Daddy? Here is... The games you pick at, just go to TomTaylorSports.com backslash football. And here's the pick. We just want to know who you think is going to win. West Virginia, Texas Christian. Miami at Florida State. LSU at Florida. Alabama at Texas A&M. And Michigan State at Michigan. The high school games this week. Knox Farragut at, Farragut at Dobbins Minute. Hardin Valley at Science Hill. Uh, let's see. Johnson County at Happy Valley. Cock County at Tennessee High. And Crockett at Cherokee. All you do is go to TomTaylorSports.com, as you see right here, backslash football, and good luck. You may win yourself a $25 prize like these folks have done here on the uh, on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. All right, he's here. Let's get him in. Boom, hit that, hit that, and let's swing this thing around so we can see. Oh, we don't need to see. Oh, that big old tall drink of water. Let's get him right here and 
Yeah, they've seen enough of me this morning already, and there he is, <laughs> Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah, glad to be over here. As always, the number one insurance agent. Sandy said four states, Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. Now, how many do you think ballpark number of agents were, are we talking about? How many is in Tennessee? A couple hundred probably? Mm, yeah, probably. About, okay. I would say 150. All right. So if you did 150, let's be conservative and say 150 in each state, although I don't know how many is in each one, but right, so that's, that's 600. 600. Isn't it? 15 times, yeah. That's 600 agents. You're the number one. So, and I was bragging about your staff because you have Sandy J means she's a jewel. Sandy J White, she's a jewel. <laughs> I don't know she is a jewel. She is a jewel. She Tracy is. does a great job. And yes. the kids back through here, tell them who those so folks we have, are. We have Tim Carr, mm-hmm. and we have Craig Luthold, mm-hmm. and we have Karen Dean. There you go. Tim, Craig, and Karen. Yep. All right, so let's do a checkup here. We, Although it's, it feels like summertime, and I like it, but it's going to get cool here at some point. Uh, probably later in the month. I think the extended forecast through next month is going to be in the 70s. I mean, through next week, 70s and 80s. Fall weather's coming. Let's start uh, on this segment with our automobile. Tell me what we need. What are some of the basics getting ready for fall and winter driving? And not only here, but wherever folks are watching and listening, hello to the folks up in West Virginia. Hello. We got folks up there. We were this there yesterday doing the show. So here we go. For folks out there, give me the basics, what we needed for fall and winter driving for our vehicle. Well, you know, when we start getting prepared for, for any of our season change and we're going to get our car service and stuff, we start talking about the automobiles and, you know, what kind of coverage do you want? You know, what kind of liabilities? But, you know, do you have roadside assistance? What if you got stuck on the side of the road um, due to uh, uh, slick leaves? You know, that's leaves are more dangerous than people realize when they're on the road and they get a little wet. Uh, they can slide and you can slide off the road and end up in a ditch, so you got to get out. So. Um, it, it, hopefully you didn't do damage to the car. So do you have the roadside assistance? You know, we have a, a, a new roadside assistance program, and the fact that the operation is the same is that you have a toll-free number that you dial, and it's 24-7 anywhere in the United States. If you have a flat, run out of gas, you know, need to be towed in, lock your keys out of your car. Uh, but also, with the, the new feature of it, it's a lot like what we, we refer to as the Uber. If you have a smartphone, it's going to text you who's coming. It pops up a map, and it's going to show you where they are and how long it's going to take them to get there. So it's just like watching the Uber driver come in. If you've ever used Uber, it's going to just bring that so you know exactly who's coming, when they're going to be there. Plus, to go through these networks, all these people are you know licensed, insured, and certified to do what they're doing. So you know there are quality people coming out. So again, you may be in North Carolina mountains out viewing, you may be down in Pigeon Forge, or you may decide to take a trip, late trip to the beach, uh, or people that decide to go down to Florida for so many months, you could be on one of those trips and have a problem, you dial that toll-free number 24-7 That's awesome. and you get them taken care of. So it is a uh, an awesome thing and, a, and, a, and an extra feature that they've added on the roadside assistance to let you know their route and when they'll get there to you. How many times you break down the side of the road with the XYZ company and say, God, where are they? Right. You know, and you say, well, no boy gets there. Well, I was plumb over about 50 miles away. So <laughs> this will show you where they are and when they're coming. Shows where they're coming. It gives you some uh, ease of mind, I would think. Well, and you know, I had another, I had a client that, that has come to us and they said when they were with XYZ, they called their agent's office and said, I'm here and I've had this problem. They said, well, call a tow truck and bring us a bill. And they were like, he was like, that wasn't much help. Yeah, it did reimburse me for my expense, but it didn't help me with the situation. My so, ease of mind. Right. So with this toll-free number that we've always had, mm-hmm. you're able to call it, and now that extra feature lets oh, you know awesome. how long it's going to take to get there. Pe- people enjoy it. that. I love people it. Absolutely. That is, it is Especially awesome. if you're on the side of the road. I mean, a scenario late at night, you got kids, and you kind of, you know, things a little... In this day and age, things, eh, so you want to know when somebody's coming to help you out. That's great. Exactly. exactly. Now, what I ran into last night, uh, and I wanted to bring it up on the show today, because this happens all the time this time of year. I'm coming back from West Virginia last night. I was up in Virginia, and uh, coming down the road, right in the middle of the roads. I mean, it's a huge buck here. Oh, yeah. I'm in the right-hand side of the lane. Right. And thank goodness he was on the left lane, and he went on over the – but he was standing on the road, and I thought, if, I'd have hit, if he'd, that rascal turned around and come back in front of me – I mean, you know this. You've dealt with this. It'll total your car. So that happens in this time of year. October, November is a lot 
uh, this is the time of year and the deer are on the move, so that's something else we run so into. So that's why we want to talk about yeah. You know, what kind of coverages do you have? Do you have the comprehensive coverage that's going to take care of that, that's going to fix the car if you did have that damage? Because as you said, um, about two years ago, you know, I had one run right across 81 and ran right on the side of my Sequoia, and I mean, it wiped out the whole side. It was a big one, and I mean, Yep. It happens in a heartbeat. You can't change it. So, do you have the comprehensive coverage that's going to fix it? And at the same time, where it's in the shop, do you desire to have rental car coverage that's going to rent you a car? Or we have what's called loss of use. If you choose not to rent the car, they'll pay it directly to you. But if you need to rent a car, they'll pay for that. So, it gives you that option and ability. So, do you have those coverages and do you want them? And how much do you desire per day? You know? Some people will say, well, as long as I can get something to get around because it's temporary, I don't care that it's a compact, I'm good. But others say, well, no, I drive a Cadillac, I want a Cadillac. So if that's what it is, we, we can design and customize the program to meet what your desires are and what coverages you want. And, of course, the biggest thing I always talk about is that limit of liability. Most people are not carrying enough liability, and we talk about protecting our assets because that's what that liability is going to do. So we need to make sure we have enough if we're in that accident because medical costs are up, vehicle repair costs are up. All those bills are up, and so if you hit someone and you do bodily injury to them and they have to take a week off work and they have all these medical bills, then they have to do some therapy, and then you got to fix their car, do we have enough coverage? So we want to talk about those limits and what you currently have and what we think you ought to be looking at going with. I was, again, we're talking to Jim Klein, obviously on the screen, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We is here, again, the number one agent in four states, Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. So I was a champion Chevrolet last week. Of course, every Thursday I'm there, the number one Chevy dealer in the state. Andy Dietrich, one of the co-owners, told me because of Hurricane Harvey and Irma, there is a million, a million cars out there that have been ruined because of water and the flooding. So we don't have that up here too much, but if we had gone down on vacation, got trapped, couldn't get out, and your car's underwater, and, you know, is there under farmer's insurance, what would that come under? Again, that's your comprehensive, comprehensive. coverage. And, yeah. and, you know, so I, same thing. I had a client call me that was, at, or not actually call me, they text us in here. Uh, they were out on a ship. They had gone out on a cruise. Their child got married on this cruise, and they couldn't bring the ship into port, and he's like, do I have the right coverage on my truck? Because I think it's going to be gone when I get there. And, of course, he did have comprehensive coverage. And, luckily, his truck was okay and he was, you know, fine. But it did make him nervous because, just like you said, if you were in one of these areas and these things did happen, then that would take mm -hmm. care of it. Uh, it it did happen one time in, in Kingsport. You know, we had that downburst of rain. Water mm -hmm. drains couldn't handle it. And we had some cars floating down through there, which... And lots of times when you get all that water in there, it does total them out. So they're just, they're, you know, it's just, and so again, the coverages that would take care of it is your comprehensive, and do you have comprehensive coverage on your automobile to take care of that? 247-5400, the number to call. So again, we assume, you know, things like that will never happen, and hopefully they won't, but, you know, I'd be bobbing down the road last time. I could have very easily... I would assume big as that thing was, it hit me, it tore my car all to pieces. Maybe too, me too, for that matter. So right. good Lord's looking out for me. But those things happen. So and then you get into, as you said earlier, leaves on the roads. The leaves are coming off up here now, not because of the cold temperatures, because it's so dry. The leaves are falling off. We're supposed to have rain this weekend. But then we get into ice and snow and winter's around the corner. And they're telling us we have a rough winter. So tell me about that. All right. So, you know, you know, we remind people to keep those gutterings cleaned out, get those leaves and things off of your roof so you can keep from from damage happening to the roof because of the the where the leaves accumulate as well as get them out of that guttering because just as you said then it starts to rain and then it starts to snow and is that going to impede the flow of all that water getting out of there or is that water going to start backing up into your home and so you want to keep all that cleaned out and and get those items and the brush and stuff removed away from your home so that we can keep that water and everything going away. You know, we always talk about fires and stuff on houses or people think about that fires, but just like you said, uh, you know, we've had these national disasters, so we have, you know, windstorms that can come through that can do damage that brings the rain as well. So we want to keep everything clean and, and away from our homes so that all that can, can function properly. Um, but then on the inside of the house, uh, we talk about people to uh, check your washing machine lines. 
you know, how long was that washing machine installed and how long have those lines been there and that they're rubber lines and especially that hot line gets hot and cold and hot and cold and, um, you know, they can develop weaknesses, they can start cracking and, and again, that water can bust and be all throughout your home while you're going to work or out to dinner or whatever and water can travel fast and create a lot of damage. Uh, so, you know, I always recommend it if you have the funds to even just use the braided lines because they last longer and give a little more security, especially where you have that washing machine that is off and on and has that hot water line going to it. Lots of things to consider. We'll talk next uh, next segment about uh, fireplaces, uh, wall heaters, wood stoves. It's that time. I know it got down to the 40s in the last couple of nights, so some uh, folks may be turning on the heat pump and cracking up a stove or a wood stove. And heaters and, will kick on some of these wall heaters and baseboard heaters will kick on automatically mm -hmm. so you need to be cleaning those off and keeping and get things away from them now because as you said and it gets cool at night it once it gets so cool even though you think that dials all the way down it it, it can fire up and we have had people have problems from that see as you watch him on the screen <laughs> There are no notes. This is why the guy's number one. You know, you know, I've been together. What did we say last time I was here? Twenty years. At, at least, least twenty years. At least twenty years. Wouldn't go anywhere else. I love this guy. Twenty five. Well, yeah. <laughs> he's only twenty five. So he started. He's five years old. Yeah, right. But this guy does a great job. A phenomenal job for me. And just wrote my check for this month for the insurance. And I wouldn't go anywhere else. He does a a great job. So next break, when we come back, we want to talk a little bit later on the show about that homeowners because if you got, you know the wood stove and the refrigerator and whatever's in your home that you want to make sure it's properly covered we'll talk about that and also some homeowners insurance next break next time we come in so all right you sure all right five four states tennessee virginia ohio and alabama she said there's five states we couldn't forget the fifth one do you know the fifth one or is there just four i know you don't talk about this but i don't care you're I know, bigger. but I always just had to I'm stop and think about it. <laughs> Georgia, but Georgia's very small. Yeah. Georgia falls in because we've not been in Georgia, but probably five to eight years. So, you know, it's, I don't even know how many agents are in Georgia, so it wouldn't be that many. But yeah. Georgia would fall in their territory. And what was it? Now they've asked you to start coming to help farmers make some decisions with things to the President's Council. Is that right? Well, so we were selected to be on what's called the uh, commercial agent advisory council for commercial insurance so there we talk go. about the small businesses and we talk about um, the way that we can operate better to better service those clients um, from everything from billings to claims to uh, actually when we're placing new business and getting it all placed and and what coverages they need there you go and then also next time we get him back on the next hour me if we can get his phone up there we want to show a picture of yeah, the little granddaughter. He's oh, well, I, I, I'm, yeah, I have yeah, a, bring a picture. photo picture back at the office. Oh, yeah, got to bring it put it up on the screen. Let's yeah. see. Oh, yeah, as soon as I walked in, how you doing? Hey, I got a new picture. <laughs> I was like, okay, how you doing? Hey, I got a new picture. Today. I was like, okay. I get a new Grand picture daughter. every morning. <laughs> you know, you get one every morning and say, good morning, Claire. There you go. That's good uh, stuff. I'll see you in a bit. Stuff. See you in a few. Our buddy Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Quick break. We'll be right back. We'll talk to Ryan Witten from Elizabeth and T.A. Duggar Junior High School. They're playing for the conference championship. We're going to talk to them coming up next year. Talk to him on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. At American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, one of the eight areas of your vehicle that takes constant continuing education is the air conditioner on your vehicle. Well, you would think that AC would be a simple one, but it's getting to be uh, a lot bigger than just AC. It's it's the management of the system, not just AC, but heat and everything. It's a lot more computer controlled than it used to be. It used to be just a little button on the dash that you pushed. Now there's all kinds of electronics involved in that. Braking systems it used to be fairly simple. Now some of the newer vehicles, you have to have a computer to actually operate the braking system to make sure that it's okay after you've worked on it. Computer control in the, of the engine is becoming very important. There's a lot to that. Each one of these areas, are, the, the technology has just tripled and quadrupled in the last few years. It's hard to keep up. You really need to stay in the books and know what's going on with them. American Import Auto Repair, Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. Blue Lizard Australian Sunscreen originated in Australia, where sunscreen standards are the strictest in the world. Although our products are now manufactured here in the U.S., we continue to adhere to the most stringent Australian standards to offer the best in broad-spectrum sun protection. Blue Lizard, the brand most recommended by pediatricians and dermatologists. 
Our smart bottle turns blue in the presence of UV rays, reminding you to cover up. You bring the sun, Blue Lizard brings the magic. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here are the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers, comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Hi, I'm Rob Cole with Bays Mountain Park. There's something for everyone at Bays Mountain Park. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or simply looking to get away and relax, Bays Mountain Park in Kingsport, Tennessee is the perfect destination. For only $4 per vehicle, enjoy 3,500 acres of breathtaking scenery, featuring 40 miles of hiking trails, wildlife habitats, one of the southeast premier planetariums, and much, much more. For more information, please visit www.baysmountain.com or call us at 423-229-9447. Bays Mountain Park, one of the Tri-City's best places for learning, leisure, and recreation. Back with the Tom Bickler Sports Show again. We are live. We get a Jim Klein Farmers Insurance in Kingsport, the number one farmers agent in five states. And we're here broadcast live, one of our great sponsors. And so uh, tonight we are ready to go to Elizabeth and call a good one. T.A. Duggar against Vance Junior High for what well, looks to be the conference championship. We got him on the phone, as you see, Ryan Witten, the T.A. Duggar football coach. And yes, he is the brother of Sean Witten and yes, of Jason Witten of the Dallas Cowboys. So, Ryan Witten, good morning, sir. How you doing? I'm doing great. I'm so glad to be on your show. Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. We go back a long way, and let, we'll talk some college football yes, coming up in a minute. But let's talk about Duggar. You guys have had a phenomenal season. Tell me about it. Oh uh, yes, sir, man. The kids have, uh, have really worked hard. We started uh, ten days in the spring, started on May first, and then we went uh, ten days in June. Uh, just just preseason workouts. That's when we invited the sixth graders up. Um, our, our school's a little different. The league we play in is, is probably the best football league in, in the state of Tennessee. Uh, that's what we believe in. Uh, we're the smallest school. We play 6th graders, 7th graders, and 8th graders against mostly just 7th and 8th graders. Um, Greenville's the only other school that, that offers it to the 6th through 8th. Um, so our kids have, have really uh, stepped up. They've, they've got a mindset of, of, um, of team, and that's hard, to pre- that's hard to preach nowadays. That's hard to get it done. Uh, in in the, the society we live in now, everybody wants their own piece of the pie. Um, we, and what, what we do is we just try our motto this year was we tagged off the high school team as best is the standard. Uh, Coach Witt and Sean got that off of, uh, Clemson and, and you know, we just, we don't expect to be the best, but we, we want each and every kid, each and every athlete to give their best. And that's all we can ask for. Absolutely. What's that, what's that saying again? I'm going to write that down. What was it again? It's, uh, best is the standard. So, you know, any, we we're, we're, we're seeking our best in every aspect of our life. Uh, you know, spiritual, educational, uh, in the classroom, outside the classroom, um, and then on, especially on the football field. So we're excited about what we have to offer tonight. Vance is coming over. They're going to be a really good uh, opponent. They're really well coached by Aaron Christian, and he's always got those guys ready. Uh, it's tough at the end because junior high, we don't have playoffs in our league, so it's a, there's no carrot holding the kids on the end, at the end of the, at the end of the season. So. Uh, you know, we've been preaching championship, 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 and, and everybody wants to have a championship. So we got an opportunity to play and handle our own business, and uh, we're grateful for that opportunity. 
Don Ryan with you. See on the uh, screen uh, again the T.A. Duggar football coach tonight will be there. Five fifteen, we'll go on the air. Kickoff right around five thirty against Vance at the uh, at the Big House, if you will, at Citizens Bank Stadium where the Cyclones play. And give me some names of some kids who's played well individually so far this year for you. Well, we we, we just started our defense. Our defense not very, gave up very many points this year. Um, we we play we play on multiple front. Uh, headed up with our, our linebackers Blake Stewart, who's a who's a we we preach we got 23 eighth graders we have 17 eighth graders who have been in our program three years you know they start in sixth grade and they work their way up they find their way and then you know sixth grade is kind of like a freshman year third year and then they they step into the program as a seventh grader and then and then they're uh they, they they're expected to be big time players in eighth grade but Blake Stewart and Cade Russell are our linebackers Cade uh, actually moved down from from safety our our starting linebacker Mason Egoff broke his leg at Robinson in week two uh, and that was a huge. Huge uh, downfall for us. We, you know, but like Kate is a uh, type of kid that is whatever it takes. And Coach Hill, he'll do anything. A buckle, fill the water jug up if we ask to, ask him to. And then uh, our deep, deep at the front, uh, we got two defensive ends that are pretty stout, pretty tall. Connor Johnson and Trenton Taylor. And then our defensive linemen are uh, Caleb Johnson, Owen Slagle, and Sam Bowers. And our secondary. Uh, I brag on them, and we sit. We in these days, day, day, you know, everybody wants to play man to man. We sit in a, in a soft cover two look, and our kids are they they play basketball. All four or five of the guys who play in the secondary are basketball players, and we we can two three zone, and and we cover the guys in our zone, and uh, we have eighteen interceptions this year, which is unbelievable um, for a middle school football team. Uh, one kid, Dante Ernest, number eleven, he plays the corner. He's all he. Uh, He's always got. He's always around the ball. He kind of reminds me of Sean, my brother, when he was in high school. He always had the always had the, the knack of being around the ball. And Dante uh, leads our secondary, and along with Bryson Rollins, Matthew Tester, and Jake Roberts. So we're excited about what our defense offers. Um, we believe that you know if you can keep keep them from scoring, uh, put put us in a, a positive situation with the ball. We can you know we can, we can muster up 14, 18 points. We should be able to win. We're talking to Ryan Witt, and coming up top of the hour, we'll be joined by Doug Fritz from the John Cena Press talking about high school football, big week of high school football. Cyclones back in action at Union County coming up on Friday night. We'll talk to Coach Schwitt and Sean we're talking about a little bit later on the week on our show, but we're talking to Brother Ryan about the game tonight. 5.30, we're going to air at 5.15 from Citizens Bank Stadium against Vance Junior High. And Coach, you look at this offensive side of the football, and you got some kids over there that I know Sean's looking forward to getting them up to high school because they can play. Yes, sir, man. Hey, we're a downhill run oriented team. Um, we had, we start two seventh graders on our offensive line. We are excited. Hey, it's a, uh, I tell you what, I tell everybody, you know, we got a lot of skilled kids and we have a lot of plays in our playbook. Um, we run our, we run our system just like we tag it off the Sean system at the high school. So the kids are ready to play as the ninth graders, but our, our five offensive linemen and our, our sixth guy are tied in. They all make straight A's and, um, I tell you right now, we can, we can just, we can go back to week two, something we've not, we've not rep about three or four times, and we can install it at halftime, and our kids are able to adjust. And I say that's the one, one compliment to our kids is they are able to adjust in, in midstream. And uh, our five offensive linemen, uh, they, they work as a team. They don't get a lot of credit outside on the, the media and the newspapers, but they know our running backs, our quarterbacks, our receivers, you, you'll see tonight. And when we score, you know, we make it, we make it, a uh, compliment to get to those uh, linemen and let them know how, how grateful we are to those guys. Owen Slagle, Sam Bowers, Kellen Hensley, uh, TJ Little, uh, Taylor Johnson, Connor Johnson, and Grayson Hatfield. Uh, again, most of those guys have been in our program for three years, and, and they've started as seventh graders, and now they're eighth graders. And some guys are starting as seventh graders, so we start, we're we excited about those guys. And our quarterback, Dalton Mitchell, and Bryce Van Hus, we – uh, use both those guys and, and Bryson Rollins, Cade Russell, Clayton Phelan played running back, and then we have a multiple receivers, Nate Stevens, Dante Ernest, and, and Jake Roberts play receiver as well. So we can do a lot of things. Uh, we believe we can beat you in a lot of ways. Uh, we're excited about being athletic and, and, and getting the ball out in space and throwing it and screens and running it. But when it gets down and, down and dirty, we want to be a downhill run football team, and that's what we do best. We're talking again to Ryan Witten, again from T.A. Duggar, again the middle school. We're going there at 5.15, kickoff at 5.30 from Citizens Bank Stadium, final game of the year. Trying to finish out undefeated. Last time that happened in the conference, I think he told me, was when Jason and, and Sean was playing. Is that right? Yes, sir. I think it was, uh, they won it back-to-back years, uh, 93 and 94, which is, you know, that was back a while ago. So we're excited about the opportunity. Like, again, we, we feel like our conference is the toughest conference in 
in the state of Tennessee uh, school conference. You know, there's some other leagues that do AAU and, and uh, non-affiliated, but as for, you know, Severe Robinson, they're always really good. Liberty Bell is really good. Uh, Vance, again, we play them tonight. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about them. You, Greenville speaks for themselves. Um, two-time state championship and Coach Newberry, who's been a coach, uh, he, he coached with Coach Sorrells back in, you know, the uh, early 80s, late 90s, and um, everybody in our program, we added Boone and Crockett to our league, and Everybody in our league, I mean, you got, it's like SEC or, you know, nowadays the ACC, you got you to pony up and giddy up when, you, when it's Tuesday night. So we're excited. And our JV, is, our JV team is, uh, we have 40, 48 kids um, on our JV team, and we're, we're also 7-0, um, and 0, and we're excited about them playing. I mean, we, some of the guys take, uh, some teams take those guys off. We don't take them for granted. We want to win, and every every time the Cyclones, the Orange and Black, put a stri- strap it up, we want to win. So, um, that is, that's not always the result, but that's what we're preaching. There you go, best of the standard. Let's talk about your brother for just a second, and we'll get into some college football. Uh, forget all the stuff going on in the NFL. I, the fact that they've named an award after Jason Witten, the Humanitarian Award, what an honor for this guy. You think of all the guys playing the National Football League right now and have played before, and yet they have said, we want to name an award after your brother, the Jason Witten Humanitarian Award. Man, that is just that is out of sight. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it is. It's hard to uh, it's hard to even talk about. It. Imagine, you know. I think I saw something on Twitter the other night. Some of the nominees, the guys who who are up for that uh, that award, and um, it's amazing to to be able to to say that our you know our our, our brother that our our last name will be uh, in the college football for forever. You know, um, just think of the awards that have been given out: John he- the Heisman and and the Jim Thorpe Award and Bronco Nagurski and those. You know, the Mackey Award. I mean, those things are those are huge. The Walter Payton Award and the Lombardi Trophy. And this thing, those names are, are legacy legends in football. And to have our name and our brother uh, put up there with those guys is a, is a standard. You know, hey, best is the standard. You know, um, I thought we tell our kids every day. You know, um, our family is blessed. We we live football at the highest level every single day. And there's no level that our kids can get to that we haven't been to. And um, now I, I haven't played in the NFL, but I, I know that I talked to my brother enough, and and we run the schemes off of what the Cowboys are doing, and we're we're excited, and and, and Sean does as well, and and we're blessed, and we think we thank our communities, all of East Tennessee, Knoxville, Dallas for supporting us and everything we do, and like I said, it's just it gives you chills, and I know my granddad, he's happy, he, he's just the most uh, proud man on, in, in in Tennessee, so uh, he's excited and. If we can just get the Cowboys straight here on off the tough loss to the Rams, and I think we'll, I think they'll bounce back. You know, it's early and they've had a lot of distractions, but I think they'll they'll bounce back and get those guys healthy and and be excited about the future. So we're excited too. Let's talk college football before I let you go. We're talking to Ryan Witten again. Coming up, Doug Fritz joins us from the John City Press, and we're live with Jim Klein, Farmers Insurance coach. Tennessee football, obviously a very, very disappointing season so far, the way things are going, and they're calling for Butch Jones to get fired. And, and what's your take on everything going on down in Knoxville? Yeah, man, you know, it's easy to, it's easy to point fingers when you're sitting outside looking in. You know, I, I'm always a I, – I just – growing up in the coaching world, and I believe that, you know, both Coach Jones and Coach Fuente, they took over at, uh, tough situations, you know, uh, Coach Jones took over after Coach Dooley, and and Coach Dooley had that mess with Coach Kiffin. So you know, you you, you always got to look at the positives, you know. And it's easy to point fingers, and you know, um, I think if you give the guy time, and and uh, you know, people don't realize how valuable Josh Dobbs was. You know, he he got him out of a lot of messes uh, last year in the Hail Mary, and 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 you you know, it's like coming after Tim Tebow. Look how many quarterbacks Florida's had after Tim Tebow, and look how many quarterbacks Dallas has had after Troy Aikman. When you have somebody that that's that's been a staple in your offense like joshua Dobbs was and you come in with a quarterback it's hard hard to get things going and um you know i think you just gotta you let those guys who who are in it every single day uh you gotta let those guys make the decisions and if we're true fans and we want to support our coach i think that's the thing to do thing we need to do the best is support those guys Hokies lose a tough one to Clemson, which is nothing to be ashamed of. They're one of the best teams in the country, maybe the best. We'll see the defending national champions. So they take to the highway this week to play at Boston College. What's your take on Virginia Tech football right now? Hey, I would tell you, I don't, I don't know if you've been to a game lately, but me and my wife, we went up there um, um, this past Saturday. And I don't know if you've been to a game lately, but you're talking about a good time. 
Oh my goodness gracious! The Inner Sandman. You, I encourage everybody. I know it's East Tennessee, but you go up there, two hour drive to Blacksburg, and you will not be disappointed. We went up there last week, and hey, they were winning thirty five ten with like four minutes left, and the Hokie fans were still there, just cheering along, having a good time. So you want to take your kids a good environment for your kids. Um, of course, you know Coach Coach Beamer, Coach Fuente, and Coach Wiles, uh, the guy D line coach has been there for every recruited Sean and Jason. He rolls out the red carpet for us when we go up there. Uh, they're always very, very nice and let us just open the open the keys to the doors and let us walk around and check the new facilities. But I tell you what, Coach Fuente will get those guys right. He's got a really good system. Uh, they play hard. Uh, you know, Clemson's really, really good. I think they can ride the ship and and win the rest. And I think they can see Clemson in the ACC championship again. You know, I, we're so blessed. Uh, when, you know, I know it was 15 years ago, but when Sean was at Virginia Tech and Jason was at Tennessee. Uh, me and my family, we were we had the best of both worlds. You know, we got to go to Virginia Tech and both both go to Tennessee, and uh, we'd split up and go. And uh, I know they're in di- Virginia Tech's in a different conference and the facilities change, but um, I had nothing but good things to say about those programs. The people that are they're in, involved with them, and they've always been good to my family and and been good to our kids at, in East Tennessee and in Elizabeth. And um, they're always they always stop by. Uh, you know, Coach Jones always has his guys come by the high school and talk to Coach Whitten and. And Virginia Tech does as well. So, you know, we you're not going to get a bad word out of my, my mouth from the, about those two schools the way they they represent uh, themselves and and uh, but the way they treat our my family and, and our school our kids. Best of the standard will be there today. I can't wait. Duggar and Vance Junior I will start at five fifteen. Kick off at five thirty. Coach, can't wait. You've been a great help. Give me stats and numbers and rosters and so I love it. Love promoting the Cyclones. We'll see you over there this evening and and go Duggar. Right, go Cyclones. Hey, yes, sir. Go Cyclones. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me on. Yeah, I'll talk to you tonight. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Yep. Good man right there, Ryan Witten. You think he's excited? You think he's a little fired up? He's just a, he's a little fired up, I tell you. And it's really cool to be around the, the Wittens. Of course, Sean with the high school will pick back up the Sean Witten Coaches Show next week. There was no game this week, so uh, or last week. So no show this week, but next week we'll be recapping the Union County ball game to play on Friday night, and then of course uh, preview what looks to be uh, the game of the year for uh, these two programs next Friday night. If all the stars are aligned and everything goes as follows, Greenville hosting Sullivan South this Friday night, and again Elizabeth and goes to Union County, and then next Friday night, October the 13th, Friday the 13th, Greenville number one in the state in 4A football comes rolling into uh, Citizens Bank Stadium. Uh, Cyclones have two back-to-back toughies, Greenville and Sullivan South, and they'll wrap up the regular season at Sullivan Central and the playoffs start. So uh, next Friday night, we'll see what's going on with Greenville and Elizabethan, and we'll have the Sean Witten Coaches Show about this week's game against Union County coming up again later uh, be next week. So, again, thanks to Ryan. We'll be there again this afternoon, 5.15 airtime, 5.30 kickoff from Citizens Bank Stadium. It's going to be a lot of fun, and looking forward to being over there. And, promoting them little ones that are going to be big ones one day to play football for the Elizabethan Cyclones. And I'll tell you what, I've been around there for the last uh, year or so. There's a system in place in Elizabeth. You heard Coach Witten say, Ryan down at Duggar, they run the same plays the high school football team runs. So when they move from Duggar to Elizabethan, the system's the same. You just kind of plug in, and it's the same thing we're doing down on the middle school level. It goes up to the high school level and vice versa. So... There's kids aren't uh, thrown a curveball. They know exactly what's coming. So they're going to be in the system the sixth grade through the senior year. So theoretically, they're going to see the same system, the same plays, the same schemes, the same all this, all that for six years. So that's consistency. Quick break. We'll be right back. We're live here at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Coming back, we'll go to the top of the hour and visit with Doug Fritz from the Johnson City Press. Get his take on Tennessee football his take on Hokie football, and his take on the polls are out this week for high school football, and we'll talk about that. And also some of the big games around the region this Friday night for week number six of the high school football season. Quick break. We'll be right back. We are, again, live at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, the number one farmers insurance agent in five states, Tennessee, Virginia, Ohio, Alabama, and Georgia, 247-5400. Our man, our buddy, and a good friend, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Back after this, show number 606 on the road, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. We're at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern 
for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned, cushioned seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City, open six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue when UV light is present. Blue Lizard. We've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. Top of the Sports Show City on the screen, on the phone, my dear friend Doug Fritz. Love this guy. He's a great friend, a great Christian brother, and he's a heck of a sports writer from the John City Press. Good morning, sir. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm doing great. Appreciate you checking in with us. And the polls are out this week in high school football. And any surprises the way things have come? I know Sidesville drops out of the top ten, and you have Daniel Boone hanging steady, and Greenville and Elizabethan, and Happy Valley and cloud on their respective classes. So any surprises there in the polls this week? I was a little bit surprised that Science Hill dropped out. Um, their loss, one loss to Greenville, who you could make an argument is a top five team in the state regardless of classification. And then DeFarragut, the defending Class 5A state champion who's undefeated in 6A this year. Um, I think Science Hill still belongs in the top ten. But I also don't think that's that big of a deal because that can just serve as motivation for them. But that was the one thing that surprised me a little bit when I saw the saw the rankings. And, and when I voted, I I definitely had Science Hill in the top ten. Murfreesboro, Oakland, number one in 6A. Again, Farragut at number three. There'll be a Dobbins minute coming up Friday night. We'll talk about that in a moment. Science Hill falls out of the rankings. They would be, I guess, officially the 11th in the state as they get an honorable mention. 5A Beach, number one, Daniel Boone stays at number nine in the state with their big win on the road at Morristown East. 4A Greenville, number one, Elizabeth in a number four. That has not changed. And 3A football, Alcoa, number one, Johnson County stays rock solid at 
number three in the state. In 2A football, Mix County number one, Happy Valley number nine. They dropped three notches after their loss to uh, Knox Christian uh, Friday night. And in single A, South Pittsburgh number one and Cloudland uh, stays right at number nine in the state. So that's your rankings involving uh, local teams here in Northeast Tennessee. We're talking to Doug Fritz. So let's take a look at some of the games coming up in the Region 1, 6A, 5A, 4A. We'll do this again Thursday night, and we'll let he and Dave Andre do it on the uh, Championship League five-star football preview show. But uh, we'll just throw out a couple here that I think will be interesting games. One of those in Science Hill, uh, Kermit Tipton Stadium. Science Hill hosting Hardin Valley and Farragut at Dobbins Veteran 6A. What do you think about those games coming up Friday night? Well, you know, Science Hill Hardin Valley uh, is certainly a game that the Hilltoppers, you know, that they can't go into that game um, with any sense of overconfidence, obviously coming off a loss. Uh, but... Uh, and it's a game that's crucial for them. I mean, that they have to win that ball game, but they're probably looking at, at uh, more than likely they'll be on the road in the first round of the playoffs, and that probably means a trip to either Bradley Central or Maribel. And, uh, you know, you just don't want to get in that that thing. You want to try and avoid Maribel until the quarterfinals. So big, big game for Science Hill. And, and you know, DB, um, you know, interesting looking at their schedule. They play just a brutal schedule to this point. And, you know, they've got Farragut coming in. Everybody's going to be predicting Farragut to win that game. But DB's been ahead of everybody. They were ahead of Greenville in the fourth quarter. The only t- the team they had the most trouble with was Science Hill. So, but they were even ahead of them early. But, you know, I just think that DB's got a chance in that game. Just because, I mean, they've done it against Alcoa, Greenville. I mean, and, and these are, you know, these are top teams in the state. So, We'll see what happens, but uh should be a couple of interesting close football games. 5A football, Crockett at Cherokee. Crockett at 2-0 on top of the conference, along with Daniel Boone. Cherokee right in the middle of the pack, actually tied for second with Tennessee High at 2-1. and one. So it uh, could be an interesting game Friday night down in Rogersville when uh, Co- or rather, uh, Crockett goes to Cherokee. What do you think? Well, I, I look at Cherokee and I see a little bit of an up and down team. You know, they've, they've whipped some, some poor teams and struggled against some good teams and you know, Crockett's the type of team they have to go in and play well offensively because I don't think they're going to shut anybody down um, uh, as far as teams that can, you know, have the capability of putting some good points on the board. So Crockett's going to have to go in and play well offensively and get about 30 some points on the board to, to get that win and keep themselves on track for a, a premier season that they've already set themselves up for at this point. We're talking to Doug Fritch, you see on the screen with the John City Press. So, Volunteer has a situation that to replace the coach. Who steps away from the program? They're trying to get it back together, and they'll head off to Daniel Boone. So, how do you handle if you're a kid? You know, college is one thing, but a high school football team where there's a situation where the coach had to be let go. So, how do you circle the wagons and regroup if you have that happen to you in a high school level? Well, if you remember last year, Unicoi County went through um, the same thing. Much, much different circumstances about why the the coaching change was made. There was no impropriety and, and language problems or anything like that at Unicoi County. But uh, the, the Unicoi County um, kids just came out and played football and finished strong and, and, and made it work. And if this new coach comes in and does the right things and treats the kids the way they need to be treated and talks to them the way they need to be talked to, then I think that volunteer can finish this thing out and, and be fine. Two more take kids are resilient. Absolutely. Uh, two more to take a look at. You have Sullivan South at Greenville and 4A football South at 3-0 and and 5-1 and on the year. Greenville, of course, 2-0, and 6-0, and the number one team in the state in 4A football. So South at Greenville, do the Rebels have anything for Greenville Friday night? You know, I, I, I don't want to dismiss anything that South's done to this point because you don't score all the points that they've scored and beat people the way you beat them without being a good football team. But this is a totally different animal. They're getting ready to go up here, and I'll be really, really surprised if, if in when the fourth quarter starts in that football game, if South is even within shouting distance. I, I just don't think that they can hang with Greenville, um, and Greenville's defense is too tough, and their offense is too explosive and consistent, and I just don't think South can hang with them. Last one, we're going to take a look in high school. Johnson County at Happy Valley at the Hill Friday night. Happy Valley, of course, ranked in the state in uh, 2A football. And, of course, Johnson County has solid number three in the state in 3A football. They're 6-0. and Happy Valley at 5-1 and is a non-conference game. Johnson County on the road or Happy Valley at home? Who do you like Friday night? 
this is the game I, I don't really have a finger on. I mean, th- this game is just, I mean, it could go either way. It's going to be two good defenses going against each other. Uh, you know, if Happy Valley had won last week, I, I would have really, you know, probably hung my hat on them. But the fact that they got beaten, um, you know, is going to enter some doubt into the picture. John City, uh, Johnson County still coming in with a lot of confidence. Uh, being undefeated, I, I just think it's going to be a great football game, and I think right now I, I'm leaning towards Johnson County, but I, I may be a point or two, and I may change my mind as the week goes along. Do want to get your take on the wild card baseball game tonight? It'll be the uh, eight o'clock first pitch at Yankee Stadium. Luis Severino, fourteen and six for the Yankees, and Urban Santana, sixteen and eight for the Twins. Of course, locally we have the Elizabethan Twins who just re-signed the contract with the big club, going to be around for believe, five more years. Minnesota, Doug Fritz, goes from a 100-loss season last year to getting into the wild-card playoffs this year. You like Minnesota? You like the Yankees tonight at Yankee Stadium? Well, I understand why they've got it set up the way they do now to where your, you know, your three division champions, you know, sit there and wait on a wild-card team to win. It's not really fair to be a division champion and have to play a wild-card team like they used to do, but I just don't see why. I mean, this is this is a mismatch. As much as there can be in baseball, this is a mismatch. And I realize it's baseball, and anything can happen. And Santana may go out and pitch a great game. The Twins could possibly win, but it's a mismatch because the Yankees are the superior team. They got the superior lineup. They got the superior bullpen. They got the superior starting pitcher. They got Aaron Judge. I mean, the, if the Twins win, I'll be shocked. But you know, it's baseball, so it could happen. Tomorrow night we'll talk uh, Arizona and Colorado playing each other in Arizona tomorrow night. And so we'll talk about that tomorrow a little bit here. Or we'll talk about a lot on the show. College football, the obvious down in Knoxville. Seven first downs, worst loss at home in 112 years. We've heard all about it since Saturday, 41 nothing. Butch Jones still employed at University of Tennessee. Uh, do you keep the guy? Do you let him go? They're in an off week right now. they got a bye week or an off week. And they go back to South Carolina coming to Knoxville next Saturday. What's your take on what's going on down in Knoxville and what needs to be done and what can be done? Well, I think a lot of the, the pain and anguish there at UT is is the fact that they lost to, to Georgia and Florida. I mean, you know, the, the two rivals and two teams they just can't stand to lose to. And, uh, you know, the uh, people talk a lot about the Massachusetts game, but I don't think that that has any bearing and impact on it at all. I mean, people didn't, people don't still talk about the, the Appalachian State game from last year. You know, Tennessee won. It doesn't matter. You know, if you play bad, it doesn't matter. College football is getting a win. So you throw that game out. You just look at Georgia and Florida. And I think you got to look at the, the way that those two teams have played this year, and they're pretty good football teams. And Tennessee, you know, should have beaten Florida, and they got drilled by Georgia, but Georgia's going to drill a lot of people. They drilled Mississippi State. Um, you know, I, I just don't think that, you know, right now that you can just assess the whole season and say it's lost. I mean, Tennessee matches up well with everybody else on their schedule, I think. We'll see, and except for Alabama, of course. So what if they, what if they roll through this and, and finish with three losses? Is that completely completely out of the realm of possibility i don't think it is so i think it's going to take another loss either you know you know obviously they're going to lose to alabama barring some some very strange set of circumstances but i think it's going to take another loss a south carolina loss or a, um, a kentucky loss or you know lsu loss or something along the way here before they would do an in-season change with Butch Jones, because I think he's still got a chance to finish this thing out. At Well, they play 12 games, 9-3. and three. There's still a chance that he could do that based on what's left on the schedule. Here's the remaining schedule off this week, of course. South Carolina, Knoxville. Then they go to Alabama, Tuscaloosa on October the 21st. Halloween weekend in Kentucky at Lexington against the Wildcats, or in Lexington at Kentucky. In November, Southern Miss and Knoxville at Missouri, LSU in Knoxville, Vanderbilt in Knoxville. So they've got uh, out of the remaining we, seven games, got one, two, three, four of the remaining seven at home. So, And which, which one of those teams that you just named there, that point to one of those teams and tell me, well, I know that team's better in Tennessee and they're going to beat Tennessee. The Alabama's the only one yeah. that I see on there that I say, I know they're better in Tennessee and they're going to beat Tennessee. And if he goes nine and three, and then, 
you know, wins a ball game, it's a 10-win season. And are you firing him? Are you firing a 10-win coach? If you are, good luck finding somebody to replace him because who's going to come into that crazy atmosphere? There you go. Well, or you fire a 10-win coach. I mean, just this morning, there's um, upheaval now down at LSU because they got beat by Troy. First time they've gotten beat by a non-SEC team at home since 2000. So 49 straight games, a non-conference team's going into LSU and lost. So now they're on Ed Orgeron. Uh, now there's heat on him. There's Gus Malzahn's on heat and heat. Kevin Sumlin and Butch Jones. So, uh, man, it is nonstop at the Southeastern Conference. You lose one game, and all of a sudden everybody's on you. So uh, I'm not sure they get paid a lot of money, but I'm not sure the pressure is worth it. But anyway, speaking of college football and the uh, what's going on, the Hokies lose a tough one to what could be some folks say the best team in America certainly the number two ranked team the Clemson Tigers they move on to Boston College now for a Saturday game at BC what went wrong with the Hokies are they okay right now yeah the Hokies are fine I mean I I told people before that game I think I said something on your show I said Virginia Tech's not a top 10 football team and they're going to get ready to play Clemson who is clearly a top 10 football team and then when I watched the game and I watched Virginia Tech trying to tackle Clemson's quarterback, um, I said, this guy, this, this Clemson's quarterback's really good. I mean, he, he's tough. He can run the ball. He's not, uh, you know, he's not, doesn't look to me to be a great passer, but in the overall scheme of things, that's not a bad loss for Virginia Tech. That's a loss that, that if you looked at the schedule before the season started, you didn't think they'd win that one. And because, they went four and zero. All of a sudden, there are people thinking, "Well, they challenge Clemson." No, they're not ready. They're not ready for that. They're not good enough. Jackson is not uh, seasoned enough at the quarterback position. I think he's going to be great, and I think you know potential for some good things down the road. But I think this week, when they play Boston College, this is when you find out about Virginia Tech because they're coming off a loss. You know, they're going on the road. Uh, it's it's a team they've had trouble with in the past. It's the kind of game people are quote unquote expecting them to win, and it's their first you know chance to get the you know the first ACC road test. I mean these these are the kind of things where you learn more about a team. They did well against West Virginia, and then they played three subpar teams. They really haven't been challenged until the Clemson game, and that wasn't the type of challenge that I want to see. I want to see a challenge like this. Okay, what are they going to do against Boston College, and, and then we'll know more about them. I think they're fine. Here's the remaining schedule of the Hokies. They have an open date after this week at Boston College. Then they come back for North Carolina homecoming. Duke in town for Halloween weekend. Then in November, they go to Miami, to Georgia Tech, back home to play Pitt, and wrap up November 24th in the Commonwealth Cup at Virginia. So that's the remaining schedule for the Hokies of Virginia Tech. So they got a lot of football and some tough games. November's going to be pretty tough at Miami, at Georgia Tech, and Pitt at home, and then wrap up at Virginia, who's improving. So November's going to be a tough month. Could be a tough month for the Hokies. We'll see how they do, and and that's what it's all about right here. Doug Fritz, closing comments. What do you want to leave us with, my friend? Well, I want to say this. I'll jump back to the Butch Jones thing for just a second. I think that he would be in much better shape, especially based on his track record moving forward if he would come into the – to the press conference and, and um, use something that Joe Theismann did back in the 1983 football season where he kept running his mouth and, and kept getting in trouble. And so the, there was a cover of Sports Illustrated that had a picture of him with tape over his mouth. And it was just, hey, Joe, you just need to quit talking and go play football. That's what Butch Jones needs to do. He needs to quit talking. He says some of the the most – this stuff that's either just dumb or just out there and he just keeps throwing fuel on this fire that's coming against him and if he would just do like most coaches do stop saying stop trying to control the world and do your job and just keep your mouth in terms of i'm not saying keep your mouth shut really but i mean just say the coach speak stuff for a while and just say hey we're doing the best we can we're trying all that stuff and and quit giving his enemies <laughs> fuel for the fire because he's just he's bringing it upon himself everything sounds can when i hear him it's like i don't know it's like you push a button pull a handle and just the coaching jargon comes out it's like just just talk to me i don't need the cliches and just talk to me because that's what i want to hear well i think even the i think even the cliches would be better right now than what he is saying when you say (laughs) stuff like when you tell that when you tell the media that you know they you don't don't tell the media not to be negative. I mean, 
yeah, sometimes media is negative, and yeah, sometimes the fans are negative, but but that's just, you know, human nature, and it's like, hey, he's going up there and saying, hey, don't be human. Accept all this terrible stuff that's going on and smile about it. Well, people don't do that, and you can't tell people to do that. Yeah, you got it. People you can be positive yourself, you know. People are going to be what they want to be, so, yeah, very, very yeah. good point. You can tell me to be happy. If I don't want to be happy, I'm not going to be happy. You can tell me to be sad, I don't I don't want to be sad, I'm not going to be sad. So you're exactly right. Doug Fritz, John City Press, he'll be back with us on Thursday night with the Champion Chevrolet five-star football preview, break down some of the high school games, even more than he did today. So he'll do that with our buddy Dave Angie. Great report. Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Tuesday, and I'll, I'll talk to you Thursday, all right? Oh, thanks, Tom. Yep, good job. Great job, my man. Doug Fritz is <laughs> awesome. Love to have him on the show. We're live here again. Uh, we are Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, the number one uh, farmer's agent. He is part of the President's Council, by the way. Listen to the numbers this guy's put out. He's the top 1%, I'm sorry, top half percent of 1% of all the agents in the country for four out of the last five years. <laughs> top half percent of 1% of all the farmer's agents in the country, and he's done that four out of the last five years. What's that mean to you? It means obviously he knows what he's doing. He's got a great staff behind him, and he can help you. And all he wants is a chance to quote your insurance, 247 5400, area code 423. And so that's that's all he wants, just a chance to quote. And if it works, great. If it doesn't, that's okay too. He just wants that opportunity. Obviously, by virtue of his numbers, a lot of folks want him to quote, and they ultimately come with farmers insurance, much like I have, in Tennessee, Georgia, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. So uh, the President's Council, top, one per- top half of 1%. Of all ages in the country, four out of the last five years. How about that? Quick break. We'll be right back. He'll be here to join us, talk some more. Also coming up, we're going to hear more from, uh, let's see, we've got some college football coming up. The Heat's on yet another Southeastern Conference coach, which is unbelievable. We'll do all that and more. Jim Klein joins us next year in his office where we are today. Tomorrow will be at Chick-fil-A. Thursday will be at Champion Chevrolet. And Friday on the road at Food City in Bristol on Euclid Avenue on the Food City Friday. That big old tall drink of water, Jim Klein, joins us next year on show number 606 of the Tom Taylor Sports Show. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air-conditioned cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, they treat thousands of patients each year dealing with diabetes and its effects. Diabetes overtaking our nation and leaving a path of destruction behind. Through wound care, office visits, and preventive care, they see most of the patients after a problem arises. Using diabetic footwear, such as shoes and inserts, a great way to prevent or prolong skin breakdown and amputation. At Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, They use only custom molds from patient mold inserts, which further ensure a great recovery, or better yet, prevents a wound from happening. They use custom molded shoes, bracing, custom inserts, and extra depth diabetic shoes to prevent wounds or other skin issues from beginning. Call today, 1-800-524-4447. 39 years, six locations, one family. Bristol Orthotics and Prosthetics, 1-800-524-4447. 4447. If you're catching some waves or just playing in the yard, it is important to protect yourself. You may not feel the sun's heat, but UV rays can still damage your skin even in cloudy weather. Blue Lizard Sunscreen, recommended by pharmacists and dermatologists nationwide. Our SPF 30 plus formulations use only the highest quality ingredients for broad spectrum protection. As a reminder to protect yourself, our bottle turns blue 
when UV light is present. Blue Lizard, we've got you covered. From the driveways where your kids play basketball and ride their bicycles, to the parking lots at your local church or grocery store, Bracken Paving is an important part of many neighborhoods in our area. No matter how large or how small the job, Bracken strives for excellence in every service they provide. It's a foundation for a strong community. Discover the difference at Bracken Paving and Asphalt Maintenance. Give us a call or visit us online at brackenpaving.com. I know. Look at this. You sit down. I'll take. <laughs> you want the picture? Go watch this right here. There you go. And look here. Granddad's right off the side. The baby, Granddad, the same picture. And oh, isn't she marvelous? She is, she is an angel. Claire. 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 Little Claire. She's an angel. There you go. How old? A month. One month. One month. I know. We've so had heaven. Uh, I'm Pop. Pop. Well, and that's what I say. Yeah. So my daughters have named me Pop, but I said she'll name me once, right, right, whatever it is, she'll you, get there. Whatever. If she picks that up and it sticks, that's fine. <laughs> I'm telling you, nothing like it. Oh. Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. We, of course, love coming over here. He's been my agent for 20 plus years. I'm President's Council, top half of 1% of all agents in the United States, four out of the last five years. So I throw these stats out of these awards, but I want folks to understand, because somebody may go, well, God, he's doing all that. He don't do mine. He's, he's too big. He's too busy. That's never the case. You just want a chance to quote insurance, right? We just want the opportunity, you know, just to, you know, the opportunity to go through what you're what you're currently doing, show you what Farmers has to offer, and then really, you know, customize the program for you that's going to create the protection and try to get you the the value of the premium that you're looking for i mean i can't always say i can get there but we want to talk about again what do we have to protect how do we want it back i talk to people about buying these new when they're buying a house and you know what you're paying for it but but also look at what it takes to build it back what's it going to take that general contractor to build that home back if you had that loss at today's cost and and uh, so then we determine, you know, where do you, where do you want to be? So uh, some people say, well, if I lost it, I wouldn't build it back. So I only want this much. Okay, well, we'll look at that. But, you know, myself, I, I you know, even though we're not occupying all of it right now, I would like it all back. And then that way we could sell it to somebody else at some point because I don't want part of it back. So I want to ensure mine at full replacement to build it back if something was to happen. Because, you know, as we said, you know, I, I, as, I've been an agent for 23 years. Weather has changed in our area drastically when we talk about the wind and the rains and the storms that are coming through. When I first started, we didn't have the wind storms that we have. Now we're blowing roofs off, uh, you know, ever so many years, every three to four years, we're having for us a major storm that comes through our area that does that damage to not count on just as i said that's not talking about the accident on fires or electrical shorts that take place or you know the the water lines that bust that create that damage whether it's due to the freezing pipes and they thaw in the spring or whether it's the washing machine or hoses that we're talking about that that can create that damage and that's what we're looking to protect against that major loss and to protect that investment our home is one of our largest investments that we that we have and so how do we want to protect it and then you know to get that balance what kind of risk do you want to take so what kind of deductible do you want you know some people want just a thousand but some people say well i'll take i, I would take a 2500 because i'll save that on premium because i'm going to take the chance that I won't and if I did have that loss I can do that so those are things that we want to address and talk and customize that program to meet your needs and then as you said when we're re reviews we talk to remind people 
okay, we're going to start burning wood before long in these fireplaces. So we should have the chimneys cleaned out. Have a chimney to come clean it out, check it out, have it all clear, have our wood stoves checked out, have everything. Or even if you do it yourself, you know, look at that flue, see what the buildup is. Is it clean? Is it ready to go? Start your slow, small fire and make sure it's drafting correctly uh, before you smoke up the whole house or do, do additional damage. And, uh, you know, it does happen. It does happen. So those are those are things we talk to people about doing and um, in the reviews. And it's just a reminder because, again, we're thinking about this on a regular basis because this is what I do. I do insurance. I'm trying to help you protect that investment that you have and how do we want to protect it. And here's key things to help you protect it. You're going to have a covered claim, but claims are an aggravation for anybody, whether it's the car or the house or whatever you're dealing with, the inconvenience of having it fixed, repaired, or doing without it until it's fixed. So um, people usually don't enjoy those, <laughs> but it is what we are helping protect against. And then, you know, we also offer an extension off of our home insurance, and that's our our home system and appliance insurance, our home warranty. It's alliance with American Home Shields. Again, it's another great 800 number, or they even do online presence as well. And so you can ensure the inner workings of your home. So if you do the whole package, so it's the washer, dryer, refrigerator, um, microwave. microwave, then you get into the garage door openers, the heating, the heating system, the electrical system, the plumbing system. If you have people that live further out can have well pumps, or you may have a pool or a hot tub, and these are add-ons that you can get. So homeowners are going to fix sudden and accidental damage to those items. The home system and appliance insurance is going to take that wear and tear. So if it breaks down, you call the you call American Home Shields at our 800 number. They send out a, a certified repairman, and they're going to try to fix it first. But if they can't fix it, you know, Tom blew up his microwave. Yeah, which I did. <laughs> they replace it. They'll pull it out, put your new one in, yeah. you dispose of the old one, and we and we go on. And, you know, same thing. And we've probably told some of the st stories the same before, but, you know, they are kind of funny. Because I had a client that had a 20-year-old washing machine. The drum rusted. They told them, we can get you a new drum. But for the same cost, we can go ahead and get you a brand new washing machine. It's got all these new, and they were great with that. They went online, they chose one in equivalent value, and that's the thing. It's going to be the equivalent value of what you have, and if you choose to upgrade from that, you can upgrade. Then you're insured for that upgrade if something happens later to that new appliance. So uh, you can do it. The dishwasher. So you can choose whether you want the systems of the house, electrical, plumbing, heating, cooling, or whether you want the appliances of the of the home, uh, or if you want it all. Because we have some people that rent homes. So they may rent the house, so they're not worried about the electrical, the heating, and the plumbing. They're worried about the refrigerator, their deep freeze, and their washing and drying machine. And so we can do those for them. Or same thing you can do the reverse of that we have people that have rental property that they're worried about those major items so we can do the electrical and heating and plumbing for those properties or if you own it like myself need it all because you're going to blow something up we know you are <laughs> you're worse than me four two three <laughs> yeah four two three two four seven fifty four hundred of course it's been uh what 10 12 years i don't know how long it's been it's been at least 10 years my wife, my microwave blew, and so right. they came over, and old boy took a look at it and said, Ooh, I think shot. <laughs> so I can't be replaced. He said, I don't want to replace it. I mean, I don't want to fix it. Yeah. I don't want to replace it. So I replaced it. Right. I drop shipped it in. He said, here's here's where you can, what you want to pick out. Right. Pick out the color. Pick out the style. Here's your options. Boom. I did. They drop shipped it in. Called me when it gets there. Called him. Came in. the. I got in there late, like 4 o'clock one day when it shipped in. Called him. The next day, came put it in. Done. One and done. And that's a great thing. And it's, you know, um, it's just an added extra that we have. And we have that relationship with American Home Shield to be able to offer it. So if we do get into situations, we can help you or explain how the program's working. Um, and so, again, we just love the opportunity to sit down with people. And all of us are licensed. So, you know, Tim and Craig and Sandy and Tracy and myself, we can all sit down, discuss your coverages, um, see what's going to best meet your needs. It's just that easy. And so 423-247-5400. Before we go to the break here, again, 
a lot of insurance companies out there. And of course, if you've been hearing Jim's segments, obviously you know how good Farmers is, but go ahead and toot them again. What separates, you feel like, toot the horn, separates Farmers from the other competitive insurance agencies? Well, Farmers is very, very, very customer service oriented. I mean, it's so if you've been with us and you've ever experienced a claim, you realize that. You know they're here to take care of you. They even started another program this year with our claims department, like on the automobile side, because auto does get divided up in the property damage and the liability to other people and the damage to your car. So they have one person that is, is our contact person for us and the insureds that we contact, and they coordinate with all these other people of, of what they might need or what they need done or what's going to transpire next. So we have one point person to follow this claim all the way through to the end. Um, we have all kinds of programs in place, not that you have to use the people that we recommend, but they're programs that Farmers has set up that these people are out to service you. They're out to get you repaired, they're out to do the quality work, whether it's fix the kitchen, fix the floor, or repair the car, so that we can get you back where they are. So. And then Jim Klein, you know, we're here to take care of you. We watch your claim. We see that those people are all doing the right thing and that we're doing it. We do help you take that extra step to get things in. Uh, you know, some people say, well, I can't scan into a computer or I don't have a fax machine. We'll take care of it. Get it to us. We'll do it. We'll take care of it for you. And then others are very electronic savvy and they love it because they can get their claim information on their phone. They get text notices if they sign up for it. They can get email notices if they sign up for it. Or if you prefer, like I had one yesterday, said, I just want the old fashioned phone call. So they will just, we just choose that and they will call him and take care of it. So Farmers is is an outstanding, A-rated, excellent, financially secure company. We've never taken any TARP money, no extra money from the government. They've always been able to handle all their claims for almost 90 years now because the 1928s when they started. And again, we've been here for 23 years at Jim Klein Agency. And we will do everything to assist and guide and answer those questions. And, you know, one comment that I get on a regular basis is, you are live people. When I say that is, if you get our voicemail, it's just because we're all in front of somebody or on the other line, we will call you back pretty, really promptly as, you know, we'll get right back to you. We're not going to leave it sitting there for five hours or 24 hours later. We're going to get back with you within the hour, normally within the half hour, once you leave that message. But most of the time, you're not getting the message, and that's what they said. I get a person. I don't have to hit three to do this or eight to do that or stand up on my head. We are here. Another thing that we would like the opportunity with other people just to mention real fast is the, you know, uh, is life insurance. We do offer life insurance. We offer financial services in our agency to help save for college plans, to help save for retirement, or to roll that money into something that's more protective for retirement if you're getting closer to that age, or if you're wanting to take distribution, or if we do have that, that unexpected death to take care of people. You know, we had, well, there's tragedies that we see on the news all the time that are happening to people, and people don't make it home. So if you don't make it home, how's your family going to operate? How are they going to continue on? How are we going to do the things? How are they going to have an adjustment period? Those are things that we talk about to develop a life insurance program for you. Or if you're past that part, we just may need to help take care of final expenses. So uh, again, we just ask the opportunity to stay on with you to discuss any of those needs. Now, Cyphered, right? 89 years farmers have been in business since 1928. So. Okay. So I knew it was close to 90. Yeah. We're getting ready to years. getting ready to awesome. celebrate that 90 years. So it is awesome. It is awesome. They they are an A plus superior company. Um, they they've stood up to attention at multiple times for me and my clients. It's our buddy Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Can't thank him enough because he has taken care of me down through the years, and I can sit and give you, gosh, the uh, microwave. Then of course the time that uh, my car got broke into, and they came out while I was doing a show at Food City. In Colonial Heights, the uh, adjuster, what you call him? Uh huh, yeah. The adjuster came. All right. And, uh, you know, the time I came, came off the air, he came in with a printout. Here's the check to pay for it. And here's where we recommend you go to a farmer's certified repair shop. And so, all this while I was in there doing my show for Food with Food City on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. So, uh, I got T boned way back in the day driving to the radio station one morning had a rental car by nine o'clock that morning i called him up at all i'll never forget as long as i live he said tom taylor is it's 6 15 in the morning it's better be good 
Yeah, you know, we didn't all get up at 5 o'clock to do a morning show. So, you know, we're trying to figure out, uh, does he call me to talk or what's he trying to do at this early in the morning? I mean. So I told him my plight, and he said, not a problem. By 9 o'clock that morning, I had a rental car. So I can tell you firsthand, uh, Farmers Insurance, and specifically Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, he gets it done. There you go. Thank you very much. Yep. Take a quick break. We'll be right back. I uh, love coming over here. We have got coming up next. William Yarber from Mike's Medicine Mart. He's going to tell us about the new supplements on sale this month, the month of October. And we'll be up there for the big celebration coming up. Ooh, let's see, October the 20th. It's going to be a big time up here at the, at the old Mike's Medicine Mart right up the street where we are, of course. And then we will come back and also talk some NASCAR and some college football. It appears that yet another SEC coach is in the hot seat. So uh, it doesn't seem to stop. If you lose one game, everybody's on you. So... We'll take a quick break and see what's going on, and we'll get you ready for a quick visit with William Yarber from Max Medicine Mart, and come back talk some more college football. Also, let's see, we've got some NASCAR news, and we got a coaching casualty. One got fired yesterday already. Didn't take long. We'll tell you all about it next here on the Tom Taylor Sports Show. I'm Tom Taylor. You are Dave Angi. And we got coming up. It's a really cool every Thursday. It's the Champion Chevrolet Five Star Football Preview Show. Get you ready for high school and college football every week. Every Thursday, you're going to be covering what for us? Be looking at the Big East Conference. Ooh, that would be Dobbins, Men's Science, and all those great football teams in that conference. Doug Fritz will be giving you the rest of the high school football picture every week. Then we got colleges covered. Who are we going to be covering? Oh, we got ETSU. We have Tennessee. We have Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. All those. Carmichael's will be along to give us the big five games every week because it is a five star football preview show. So hope you'll join us every Thursday right here in the showroom of Champion Chevrolet. Dave and I will be co hosting the Champion Chevrolet five star football preview. And then on top of all that, we're going to have a picking panel where you're going to match us against you and you against us and i can't wait because they don't have a chance you're going to go up against us we're going to pick against you for some really cool prizes and they don't have a chance do they no chance at all it's going to be fun times oh yeah putting toe to what toe to the leather man toe to the leather ready man. To go. ready to go can't wait again join us every thursday right here it's a maiden voyage cool show co-hosted by dave and myself it's the champion chevrolet five-star football preview coming up every thursday right here from champion chevrolet on the bristol motor mile in johnson city can't wait to see you on the show Right here, and of course, we've got football tonight at 5 30. Duggar Middle School playing the conference championship against Vance Middle School. We'll go in there at 5 15, kickoff at 5 30 from Citizens Bank Stadium. On the phone, you see on the screen our buddy William Yarber from right up the street at Max Medicine Mart and make tracks to Max, and we do. And good afternoon, my friend. How are you? I'm doing great, Tom. How are you doing today? Just fine, sir. You got a brand new supplement, new month. Solgar's gone for the, for the time being, and so. A couple of new supplements are on sale. They're twenty percent off at Max Medicine Mart. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this month, you know, is one of those unique months where we're doing two brands. Uh, this month, we're offering the Now brand of supplements and the Gaia Herbs brand of supplements. So two two great companies you can come and take advantage of and get twenty percent off on today. Well, all month long, actually. Um, like you know, like you always say, no limits or anything like that. So come as often as you like. All month long, twenty percent off. Um, now, you know, is a really great brand to um, kind of pertains to sports supplements. They have a great line of recovery and sports energy, protein powders. So they're, they're a great company if you are into sports or if you work out. So they have a lot of offerings for that kind of, you know, field. Um, you know, one I'd like to bring up would be the sports energy that they do. It's a really great blend. Um, they have like a B-complex in there. Also, some green tea and yerba mate to really get you going, and ginseng. So you got a really powerful blend that you can take, you know, pre-workout, before a game, just help you know keep you going. It's a really great product that we sell a ton of, widely accepted. <laughs> we want to say hello to uh, Kim Witherspoon, the listening and watching the show. Thank you, one of the folks. I just saw it pop up here. One of the folks watching the show. We appreciate that very much. I cut into you. I apologize. Keep going. No, no worries. Uh, another great product that now has, you know, this is really going to pertain to this time of year, uh, the beta-glucan. It's a mushroom complex. So what that, the purpose of that is to build your immune system. So, you know, one thing we always preach about here is, you know, build up your immune system before the flu season. You know, you're a whole lot less likely to get a cold or the flu. And even if you do still wind up getting it, it's going to be a lot 
less severe. It's going to not last as long. It's not going to be as intense. So you know, build up your immune system before you actually need it. You'll you, you'll be happy you did. Um, but that's a that's a great immune booster is the beta glucan mushroom complex. And they're you know they're 19.95 for 90 of them. So you know you kind of get a good deal. And if you take them every day, you know that's a three month supply. So it'd be a good way to start off the flu season for sure. Again, we're talking about uh, William Yarber from Max Medicine Mart. That is the Now product line. Tell us about the Gaia. Am I saying it right, Gaia? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gaia Herbs, and they, you know they're really close. They're just uh, right over in North Carolina. They're uh, they're a really great clean company. They're one of the only companies too that actually puts a herbal ID on every one of their bottles. So say you buy a Gaia product, you can go on their website, <clears throat> excuse me, and actually type in the herbal ID on the bottle, and it will show you where and how each of the herbs were harvested for that. So that's a, kind of a cool little neat thing they, they put on all their stuff. Um, but, you know, you can't talk about Gaia without talking about turmeric. They are the best turmeric supplement out there on the market today. They have kind of started the whole revolution, and they've kept the reputation. They make theirs really unique by having, like, a liquid inside the capsule. It's called their Phytocaps. And they pair black pepper with theirs as well to, for increased absorption. And so they've taken another step further, and they actually offer four different types of turmeric products with a few different herbs in it together to kind of make it more pertain to what type of pain you're fighting. So, you know, there's a blend for joint pain, there's a blend for nighttime pain, there's a blend for, like, body muscular pain, and then they have their just their classic turmeric and black pepper. So they have four different blends, all great products, but, you know, just kind of a few is going to be more particular to what you're trying to use it for. I'm our buddy William Yarber, so those are both 20% off of Max Medicine Mart right up the street here in Kingsport on Center Street, or we're right down the street from Max Medicine Mart. We're here where Karen Dean works, and Craig Luthold, and Tim Carr, and Tracy Pearson, and, and of course uh, our buddy Sandy J. White, and the big daddy himself, Jim Klein, at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Flu season, it's warm out there right now, William Yarber. It's unseasonably warm. I love it, but you know at some point it's going to turn, but now's the time you guys are starting to administer flu shots at Max Medicine Mart, so Tell us about the flu shot. Who should get it, and how easy it is to get it at Max Medicine Mart? Yeah, you know, everybody should get a flu shot. Um, it, it's, we make it super easy. You know, come in. Um, just you know, we have lots of great stuff to look at while you're waiting. If they're busy, if not, you know, we can turn them pretty quick and come give Mr. Walton a visit and let him give you a shot in the arm. <laughs> Mr. Walton, there you go, Doctor. Yeah. Walton. Yep, and they can, you can administer right there. They have a little private sitting. So, you know, some folks get a little squeamish about taking a shot, don't want to be out in public, particularly adults. Sometimes we, you know, don't react like we probably should as an adult, which is okay. <laughs> so you can go in behind closed doors in a little small area, and he can administer the shot right there, right? Yeah, yeah, and, you know, I've heard many customers tell me, you know, uh, Mr. Walton and Kevin Smith, our other pharmacist, both of them are very talented in giving their flu shots. They uh, have a lot of customers make the comment that they didn't even feel it. So, you know, they've they've had their practice, that's for sure. There you go. You do a lot of flu shots, again, at Max Medicine Mart. So now's the time to get those. And, again, you can, uh, we call it the uh, vaccination destination, not just flu shots, shingles. And, I mean, there's a myriad of different types of immunizations they can specialize in and do specialize in can help you with at Max Medicine Mart. So before you go anywhere else and you need a particular shot, of a, for a particular situation, be it you know, tetanus or rabies or shingles or you need your shot record update getting ready to travel out of the country or whatever, be sure and stop by Mike's Medicine Mart first and let them take a look at it. Here's a product that when I was there earlier today I purchased. This is the Zan brand, a Zand brand rather, of organic blueberry zinc with vitamin C and that was what, 18 lozenges and this is, uh, this is what we use to keep the old throat lubricated because we talk a lot. So you sell a bunch of Zand, in this case, blueberry brand, blend, zinc, and vitamin C lozenges, right? Yeah, we we sell a ton of them. You know, this time of year, I've got a double stock of them, just you know, just to make sure. Because I have you know, a few people that come and just clear us out, which is perfectly fine. We we love to, you know, refill the shelves, but it, it is a great seller for us. And yeah, all the employees here, we we all munch on them too all the time. So it's it's a great product. I've, I'm partial to the cherry ones myself. Yep, I like cherry and I like blueberries. <laughs> blend so that's available max medicine mark also let's talk about the fact that you all sell a lot of medical equipment we don't always talk about that but you sell a ton of medical equipment tell me about that yeah we do and uh, we have a really large selection we you know do everything from like lift chairs to sorry lift chairs wheelchairs transport chairs 
pretty much anything medical equipment that you need, we we have it or we can get it for you. And a lot of people don't actually know that. Um, you know, we rent rent medical equipment as well. Um, you know, we can do it daily, uh, monthly, or just weekly. You know, just however long you need it, we'll be more happy to you know rent you something. Um, I encourage everybody, you know, to come down here and see what we got. Absolutely, Max Medicine Mart make tracks to Max. We'll be talking to, coming up. We got an October 20th date. We're going to let him talk about here in just a second. Don't forget, there is. Uh, we'll talk after we get done with William. Uh, visiting with him. Got some college football news and some NASCAR news to talk about. And so we'll do that coming up here in just a few minutes. But first, before we get out of here, October the 20th, circle the day. It's going to be a special day at Max Smart. We're going to be there broadcasting live. I can't wait. Tell me about it. Yeah, it's going to be a really fun day. It's our 28th year anniversary. So, you know, we've been open and going for 28 years. A uh, very great special day for us. And, you know, we, we have a, a big sale going on that day just to show how much, you know, we appreciate our patients. Uh, we're doing 30% off of all the supplements in, um, in the store. So, you know, we've never done that before. We always took a 20 off every month, you know, for a particular brand. But on that day in particular, you can come in and get 30% off of, you know, any of the supplements over here in this department. And we're also got a lot of free prizes we're going to be giving away. And um, we'll have a, a prize wheel set up and just some, you know, small little giveaway stuff for everybody. So it's going to be a really great day. It'll be two weeks from Friday. It's going to be here before you know it again. October the 20th, yeah. circle the calendar, circle the date on the calendar. It's going to be a lot of fun. We'll be there broadcasting live. We have more to say about that between now and then. Now and the Gaia products are 20% off. The beauty, as he said earlier, and I think it's really cool, that you can go in right now today and buy and save 20%. Go back in tonight. Go back in tomorrow. There are no limits. There's no coupons. It's a flat 20% off off these two product lines the entire month of October back in here as often as you want get as much as you want obviously the more the merrier and a lot of folks come in multiple times in the course of a month to, to save on that particular supplements on sale do they not yeah yeah we uh you know we have a few people that like you you can tell they've been waiting around for the the brand to go on sale they'll they'll come in and stock up for sure but you know we, we encourage everybody you know when your brand is on sale in the month come come and stock up because you know it's a it's a really great deal uh huge savings um you know i, I see a lot of customers to save a bunch of money coming in getting our uh, our brand of the month specials so it's it's a great you know great for everybody in closing as always give us the hours you're open at max medicine mart yeah monday through friday we're open eight to seven saturday we're open eight to six and sunday we're still open one to five there you go make tracks to max and he does and william yarber great report my friend i'll talk to you soon all right all right sounds good tom yep great job our buddy Thank william you. yarber appreciate him very much being with us right here on the tom Douglas sports show we're live at jim Clyde farmers insurance for a few more minutes hard to believe the thing's flying by we're down to 12 13 minutes left on the show unbelievable how fast this thing goes we'll take a quick break we'll come back and take a look at college football and some nascar news see what's happening and also oh yeah a tennessee football player leaves the program Who's that? We'll tell you why he left and who it is next here on the Tom Douglas Sports Show. Show number 606, live here at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, brought to you by a grip energy drink with seven lightly carbonated explosive flavors, lemon, lime, pineapple, white grape, pink grapefruit, root beer, and now the sugar-free ultra orange and pink grapefruit. Again, only 125 milligrams of caffeine per bottle, which is not very much. We're excited also, and they've unveiled the new sugar-free line, Ultra Orange and Pink Grapefruit, at only 5 calories per bottle. Again, what sets it apart from the other popular energy drinks? Well, Grip is the only the only energy drink that uses real sugar and stevia. No high fruit, fructose, corn syrup like other competitors. They've incorporated glucosamine, folic acid, biotin, natural flavors and colors, along with a vitamin combination that enhances the natural caffeine and no taurine, no taurin, taurin, I believe it is, taurine, taurin. Grip is gluten-free and vegan-friendly and kosher certified. That's not what only sets it apart. Grip is the only functional bottle with the patented design over cap allows the consumer to reseal and carry their grip hands-free, which is true. I've taken sips before and put the lid back on it, the cap, and drank some more later on, so that's one of the few, if any, have that. It, grip is not just a beverage, it's a lifestyle. Get a grip and get it today from Grip Energy Drink, available to all Food City stores across the region, across the chain. Quick break, we'll talk again NASCAR and college football, college football NASCAR next year on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink, show number 606, live from Jim Klein Farmers Insurance on Center Street in Kingsport. 
At FCA, we're touching millions one heart at a time. Since 1954, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes has been putting the heart and soul in sports by challenging athletes and coaches to impact the world for Jesus Christ. As the largest sports ministry in the world, FCA now reaches over 2 million people annually on the professional, college, high school, junior high, and youth levels. Through this shared passion for athletics and faith, lives are changed one heart at a time. Learn more at fca.org. American Import and Auto Repair in Johnson City takes care of both male and female customers, but owner Kim Smith says they have a special care and concern for ladies. Being a female in what's considered a man's business, I understand the trepidation that women may have when they come to the shop. They feel like they don't know about cars, they might be intimidated, but that's not the way we do business. Everybody's treated the same. We take the time to explain anything that they have questions about, the repair, the process, the part. We want to make sure people are comfortable with what we're going to do to their vehicle and that they understand. We do cater to women in a sense. We have a real nice waiting room with nice Keurig coffee and flavored creamers, air conditioned, cushion seats, TV, everything a girl could want while she waits for her car to be fixed. American Import Auto Repair in Johnson City opens six days a week. Call today at 913-3111. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. You've been involved in a car accident. You may be out of state on vacation or just a few miles from home. What do you do? Who do you call? At Farmers Insurance Group, one call is all you have to make. Hello, this is Jim Klein, an agent with Farmers Insurance. It's called One and Done. You don't have to wait till Monday morning to file a claim. You can make the initial call and we'll begin right away to help you. We assist you in moving the vehicle to a certified repair shop, getting you set up with rental car, and informing your agent. Then here at the staff at Jim Klein Farmers Insurance, we follow the claim through to the end. It's that easy. One and done. We're your one and done location for all your insurance needs. Auto, home, life, commercial, workers' comp, and bonds. We can help you with all your insurance needs. Give me a call today, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance at 247-5400, your one and done location in Kingsport, 247-5400. Any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Over 10 to choose from. Perfect for having the gang over to watch the big game, birthday parties, church get-togethers, backyard gatherings, everything from fruit trays to garden salad trays to nuggets and chicken strip trays. And for the sweet tooth, try the cinnamon cluster or chocolate chunk cookie tray. So you see, any day is a good day to get a tray from Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A at the crossings in North Johnson City. Welcome to the Tom Taylor Sports Show again. The picking panel right there. Again, TomTaylorSports.com backslash football. And here's the picking panel games for this week where you just go there and tell us who you think is going to win and maybe win yourself 25 bucks. Here are the games you're picking this week. Who do you think will win between West Virginia and Texas Christian on Saturday in Texas? ESPN College Game Day will be there. At Tallahassee, the Seminoles hosting Miami of Florida, the big in-house in-state backyard rivalry between the Seminoles and the Hurricanes. And Mark Rick, who will win that one? Who do you think will win LSU at Florida, Alabama, Texas A&M, and the bragging rights of Michigan up for grabs at the big house in, in Ann Arbor, Michigan State at Michigan, an old grudge match. That's the college picks. Those of you think going to win those five games at high school here locally, Hardin Valley at Science Hill, Farragut at Dobbins Minute, Johnson County at Happy Valley, Cock County at Tennessee High, and Crockett at Cherokee. There's your five games. Again, the one with the most correct picks wins 25 bucks. Compliments of us here. On the uh, on the Tom Taylor Sports Show, college football. What's going on? UTEP's Sean Kugler has been the first coach to lose his job during the 2017 season. Stepped down on Sunday. Didn't take long for the Miners to find his temporary replacement, Mike Price, who served as the coach of the program for eight years from 2004 to 2012. Back on an interim basis at UTEP, University of Texas El Paso. The school announced that late last night. 
And so Athletic Director Bob Stuhl says, quote, I've asked Mike if he could help us in this situation. He has thankfully agreed we've lost two coaches. While we have two fine coordinators who are capable of doing the job, this felt like it was important to bring in somebody with head coaching experience that is familiar with El Paso and our program. Price was 48 wins and 61 losses during his previous stint in El Paso and led the program to three bowl games. So, again, Mike Price is in as the interim coach at the University of Texas at El Paso in college football. Five games into a five-year contract, critics are now suggesting the school write a 12 million dollar buyout check to Ed Orgeron after the Tigers losing to Troy over the weekend. Five days after last week's disturbing FBI investigation, up the ante on the out of control nature of college sports, the Tiger Nation was all in. They want to get rid of this guy. See ya and raise ya. Money, greed, expectations, and the cutthroat Southeastern Conference. So uh, again, uh, Athletic Director Joe Oliva usually does what uh, when times get tough, that is to refused an interview request from some of the media folks. And so he has basically apologized to LSU fans in 2009 with an open letter in the midst of an eight-win season, only two years removed from a national championship. So anyway, Ed Orgeron, they're talking about this guy now, 56 years old, elevated from defensive line coach last fall when Les Miles was fired, kicked him to the curb, and now they're talking about again Ed Orgeron in trouble after losing to Troy 24-21 on Saturday night. Again, his bio contract is $12 million. So there you go. So anyway, uh, we'll see how that goes for Ed Orgeron and the LSU Bayou Bengals. See, I've got the schedule. Who's LSU? Oh, they play in Florida this week in Gainesville. So LSU did not get any easier after Florida. LSU has Auburn at home at Ole Miss, open date, Alabama at Alabama, Arkansas at home, Tennessee in Knoxville, and Texas A&M in Baton Rouge. So there's your schedule left. Fred Orgeron losing to Troy. First time he lost a non-conference opponent in Tiger Stadium at LSU since, what, 2000? I guess 49 games they've won over non-conference opponents at home until Troy got them 24-21 on Saturday. And the yeah, the natives are restless to say the least. So, and they're mad at Joe Oliva, too, so they want to get rid of him. They want to get rid of Ed Orgeron. So you lose one game now, one game, and everybody wants a piece. You know, it's like meat on a hook. Everybody wants you and hang out to dry. So we'll see if he survives. But Ed Orgeron under the gun now, a $12 million buyout. Again, with Butch Jones in Knoxville, case in point, he makes $4.5 million a year. His buyout is $9 million, or is 9 and a half. So either way, I mean, the guy's – knocking down some change to leave the program if that ends up being the case. So I find it amazing that you get paid more to be fired than you do to make your job uh, every day and, and go in and coach and punch the clock. And you can make more money if you get canned and fired than you do if you go to work every day and do your job. So anyway, baseball news. The Braves will be looking for a general manager as they start their offseason. John Coppolella resigned yesterday. Resignation comes as a result of Coppola Capella, I should say, breaching Major League Baseball rules regarding the international players market. The Braves announcing so Capella will be finding another job with any Major League Baseball clubs anytime soon because of the fact what he did. So nobody's going to touch this guy. He's hands off. I say that, but it would appear that he would not because he violated Major League Baseball rules regarding the international player market. So I can't imagine anybody going, oh gosh, John, that's okay. Can you come coach for us? But Hey, stranger things have happened, obviously, so one never knows. You get into the crazy world of college athletics. NASCAR news, again, the truck series, again, moving into the next round of the playoffs for the trucks, and again, your leaders right now in the point series for the Camping World Truck Series. Christopher Bell, Ben Rhodes, Matt Crafton, Johnny Sauter, Chase Briscoe, Austin Sendrick, Kaz Grala, and John Hunter Nemechek are the top eight right now. They go with eighth in the truck series. In the Xfinity series, Again, your leaders right now, you have Justin Allgaier, William Byron, Elliot Sadler, Cole Custer, Daniel Hemrick, Ryan Poole, Matt Tift, uh, again, Ryan Reed, Brendan Gaughan, Michael Annette, Blake Cook, and Jeremy Clements are in that order. What's going on in the Xfinity Series right now, of course, with the, uh, with the Cup Series, again, your leader right now would be, of course, 
Now the folks moving on to the next round of Charlotte Motor Speedway. Martin Trix Jr. as a leader, Kyle Larson, Kyle Busch, Brad Kozlowski, Jimmy Johnson, Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Ryan Blaney, Chase Elliott, Matt Kenseth, and Jamie McMurray are the folks right now that are into the second round of the playoffs, the round of 12. Charlotte this weekend, Talladega, and Kansas are the next three tracks on the playoff for the champion of NASCAR, the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series for 2017. Volleyball winners from yesterday, the District 1 AA tournament here locally. Sullivan East defeated Sullivan Central. Chucky Doak defeated Johnson County and Elizabeth of Unicoi County and Girls High School Volleyball Tournament play. In the District 1 AA tournament, you had Science Hill defeating Daniel Boone and Volunteer defeating Crockett. So, again, the Lady Hilltoppers and Volunteer move on in AAA. AA, AA Sullivan East, Chucky Doak, and Elizabeth to move on. Here's your schedule today. You have the AA tournament at South at at 5 o'clock tonight. Top seed Solomon South takes on the number four seed, the Lady Patriots of Solomon East. That'll be at, what, uh, 5 o'clock, the 6 o'clock game. Number two seed at Chucky Doak, the Lady Black Knights will take on the number three seed, Elizabeth, and at 6 tonight. In the District 1 AAA Volleyball Tournament. At Dobbins Minute, number one DB takes on number five, Science Hill, at five o'clock. Number two, Tennessee High takes on number three seed, Volunteer, at 6.30 tonight. Again, the AAA Volleyball Tournament being played at Dobbins Minute. And then in soccer from last night, Boone beat Cherokee three to two. Tonight on the soccer field, Crockett at Daniel Boone, Dobbins Minute at Solomon South, and Tennessee High in Johnson City against Science Hill. That is a look, of course, as we said, of the volleyball and the golf, the volleyball tournament. Very much, or I'm sorry, volleyball and soccer, and the volleyball tournament very much ongoing, obviously, as we speak right now in northeast Tennessee. So uh, it's all good there. Derek Carr out for a couple of weeks, quarterback for the Raiders. He is out and with uh, a bone broken in his back. So he all went all good for that. Again, Carr out two weeks with a fracture in his back. And so E.J. Manuel is your quarterback. He came on late in the ball game against the Broncos. So a transverse process fracture in his back on Sunday. Raiders coach Jack Del Rio said Carr's injury could be as short as two weeks. It could be longer. Del Rio added that Carr could be out as many as six weeks. He said he's sorry. Great kid. He'll bounce back. I told him that the team will take care of business while he's healing and just get healed up. And when he can come back, he'll come back. So he was injured on a result of a sack late in the third quarter of the Raiders lost 16-10 at Denver on Sunday and did not return to the game. So Carr is out again with a transverse, make sure I got that right, transverse process fractured in his back. So that's what they're saying, and so there you go. That's going to wrap it up again for Jim Klein Farmers Insurance Fast Show. We want to say thanks to our guest, of course, a big old tall drink of water, Jim Klein, the number one agent in five states, Tennessee, Georgia, Virginia, Ohio, and Alabama. He is part of the President's Council, the top half of 1% of all the agents in the United States. He's been in that particular category, the President's Council, four out of the last five years. That tells you a lot right there. The guy gets it done with a great staff behind him. Tracy Pearson and Karen Dean and Craig Luthold and Tim Carr and, of course, our buddy, well, they're all buddies, but Sandy Sandy J. White, J. for Jewel. She's a Jewel. She's a nice one. So, of course, that big old tall drink of water, the proud, proud grandpapa, Jim Klein, Jim Klein Farmers Insurance. Rejoining you at 515 this afternoon, about four hours now. Come right back at it. But football will be live at Citizens Bank Stadium in Elizabethan with the Cyclones play. And the Cyclones, this time, of T.A. Duggar taking on the Vance Junior High Vikings out of Bristol, Tennessee for the conference championship. And so it's going to be a good one. Duggar's not lost in the conference, so they've got lots to prove and trying to bring home the uh, brass ring, if you will, for the T.A. Duggar Cyclones, and it should be a lot of fun. And Again, we'll be there at 5.15, kickoff at 5.30 this afternoon. Again, at Citizens Bank Stadium in Elizabeth, and tomorrow we'll be on the road at Chick-fil-A, the crossings in North Johnson City. Thursday at Champion Chevrolet, the number one champion, number one Chevy dealer in the state. Nobody sells more we got trucks over there, Silverado trucks, eleven and $12,000 off the sticker as soon as you walk on the lot for these 2017 Silverados. I mean, they flat move them, and the Colorados, they sell a ton of trucks at Champion Chevrolet. They sell others, too, but their bread and butter are trucks, and they sell a bunch of them. 
And so we'll be there on Thursday with two shows during the day, the Tom Taylor Sports Show, and the evening, the Champion Chevrolet Five-Star Football Preview Show. And then on Friday, Food City and Bristol this week. We'll be at Food City on Newport Avenue in Bristol. Show number 606, Wrap It Up, brought to you by Grip Energy Drink. We'll join you again this afternoon, 515, from Elizabeth and Citizens Bank Stadium for Duggar Junior High Football against Vance. And tomorrow will be at Chick-fil-A, The Crossings, in North Johnson City. Out of time, we sincerely thank you for yours. And so, from Jim Klein Farmers Insurance Office, this is Tom Taylor telling you, as always, win or lose, be a good sport. Song, everybody. We'll see you tonight at 515 right here to bring you the audio portion of Duggar and Vance in the Junior High Football Championship. We'll see you then. Song, everybody.